the Indian Space Research Organization and the Indian Navy have successfully conducted the WellTech recovery trials for the Gaganyaan mission off the coast of Vishakhapatnam. This crucial test involved the simulating recovery of the crew module which will be used to bring the astronauts back to Earth after their mission. The trials took place aboard a WellTech ship from the Eastern Naval Command designed to flood its deck with water allowing for the safe retrieval of boats and the spacecraft. During the Gaganyaan mission, once the crew module touches down in sea, it is essential to recover the crew quickly and comfortably as well. The well deck method enables the module to be towed into the ship where astronauts can exit safely using a mock-up of the crew module that simulated its mass and shape. ISRO and the Indian Navy personnel executed a series of operations during the trial. These included attaching a recovery buoy, towing the module, maneuvering it to the well deck and positioning it on a fixture and also draining the water from the deck. This successful sequence validated the operational procedures and will aid in refining the standard operating procedures for both normal and the emergency recovery scenarios. The Gaganyaan mission aims to send Indian astronauts into space for a three-day mission in orbit around the Earth. This trial represents a significant step in ensuring that all the recovery operations are meticulously planned and practiced ahead of the mission. The collaboration between the ISRO and the Indian Navy shows India's commitment to developing human space flight capabilities. With this successful trial, India moves closer to becoming one of the few nations capable of conducting crewed space missions, showcasing its growing prowess in the space exploration. All right, viewers, now joining me live on the broadcast on this very important subject is Group Captain Vien Jha, who is a DRDO scientist. Thank you, sir, for giving us your time and appreciate you speaking to me right now. In fact, now the collaboration of the ISRO with the Indian Navy is indeed a big milestone for the nation to progress into the space exploration and that er entire arena. How do you view this latest benchmark, in fact, achieved by both by both the departments and also how do you view this also putting the India's foot forward as far as space exploration and extending the capabilities of India in the area of also exploring the space and getting uh, more information about that. Very good morning Shimran and to all your viewers, especially the viewers who have been glued to your television, your channel uh, for various space missions. Uh, yes, it is indeed a, a good achievement by ISRO of uh, retrieving the, the payload finally when it uh, uh, lands up or splashes down in the sea and subsequent operation. But Simran, I must confess, there are two very important uh, trials uh, which have to be, uh, you know, uh, of the precision type. First one is when the, uh, the space, uh, the crew module is injected into the orbit. I suppose that should not be a problem because uh, ISRO has been launching various missions in the precise uh, orbit injections of the payloads. That should not be a problem. But there are two specific problem areas. One is the crew module has the EC and LFS, uh, Environmental Controlled and Life Support System, which is a very, very robust, sensitive and complicated system. Uh, which I believe ISRO is developing in-house. Now, I have, uh, you know, uh, many years of the experience of the DRDO uh, developing the um, life support technologies or life support systems for the aircraft here, particularly the LCA I have been involved with. I know it needs a lot of tests, a lot of certification issues are there, and that must be, uh, you know, achieved on ground by uh, ISRO. And within the <coughs> probing eyes of the QA, Quality Assurance, as well as the certification agencies. I suppose ISRO has developed an in-house certification agency, which I'm not very comfortable with, because certification in-house doesn't guarantee that uh, you will not take any uh, shortcut somewhere. Corner cuttings are always possible in case if certification is within the own uh, 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 department. That is one issue. 
but besides, ISRO ha- will have to put those three crew into the crew model for three to six days, self-sufficient, self-contained. Let them uh, eat there, let them drink there, let them breathe there for almost uh, all many days, and ensure that doesn't show any deterioration in terms of the parameters that we achieve. That is the environmental and life support system that I suppose if uh, uh, ISRO is developing by itself, must be tested, must be uh, certified. That is one issue. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.